Welcome to our first tutorial on network production. In this tutorial, we will be using the network production method to calculate the current I nodes flowing through resistor 5 ohms. So, for us to get current in the resistor 5 ohms, we first of all have to calculate for the total current produced by the source. Alright, so from Ohm's law, we know that total voltage Vt is given by the total current by the total resistance. So total current IT is equal to the total voltage over total resistance IT. And in this circuit, we were given the total voltage to be 24 volts. So we are left to calculate for the total resistance in this circuit. And this type of circuit is a series parallel network because some of the resistors are in series and some of them are also in what's parallel. So we need to get the equivalent of all of them. So for us to calculate RT, the best thing is to start from the end of the circuit. What I mean is we have our source at this end. So start adding your resistors from the other end of the circuit. So we start adding the resistors from this end of the circuit. So we could see that this 5 ohms is connected in parallel to this 5 ohms. Why are they in parallel? They are in parallel because when I, whenever a current gets to this junction, current will have to split between this branch and that branch. So since the current is splitting between these two resistors, it means they are connected in parallel. So let's find the equivalent resistance for these two resistors in parallel. Let's see RA. RA is equal to what? This and that in parallel, which is 5 times 5 over 5 plus 5, giving us 25 on 10, which is equal to 2.5 ohms. So the equivalent resistance of 5 and 5 is what? 2.5. So we are going to draw the circuit again and re replace this portion of the network by the 2.5 ohms. So we have our source. We have the 1.5 here and we have the equivalent of this two resistance which is what 2.5 connected here so let's name our elements we have 24 volts 1.6 we have 6 1.5 and 2.5 volts ohms so we are still adding from the back of the circuit so we can also see the 2.5 is connected in series with what the 1.5 because the same current will flow towards the 1.5 and the 2.5 they are on the same branch so you have the same current hence they are in series so let's calculate its equivalent let's call it rb which is 1.5 plus 2.5 and it's given as what 4 ohms so we've also calculated for the equivalent of 1.5 and 2.5 in series. So let's draw the circuit again and represent it here. So we have our source. These are our source ohms. Good. So our 24 volts is here. Our 1.6 ohms our 6 ohms and this resistor is what? the 4 ohms so we have what? 4 ohms again the 4 ohms is connected in parallel with the cell so let's calculate for its equivalent RC giving us what? cells by 4 over cells plus 4 which is 24 on 10 and that is 2.4 ohms so our circuit we are just drawing the equivalent circuit as we combine the resistors. So our source is here 24 volts. Our 1.6 is still here, and this resistor is what 2.4 ohms. Now in this circuit, we can calculate what the total resistance that is the 1.6 in series of the 2.4. So our total resistance RT is equal to 1.6 plus. 2.4 which is giving us 4 ohms. So the total resistance in this circuit is what 4 ohms. So we use the total resistance 
You calculate for the total current. So total current height is what? Total voltage 24 over total resistance 4, which gives us this amperes. So the current produced by the source, that's the height, is what? Source amperes. So now the question is, what amount of this source amperes is flowing through this pipe? So for you to get that current, you first of all have to start from the last circuit we drew. So looking at this last circuit, our total current is still here, that's the IT source. So we can see IT, the source amperes is flowing through the one point source. That same IC, that's the source amperes is flowing through what the two point for the in series. So let's compare this diagram to the question. You can see that this 1.6 here is where? It's the 1.6 here. Where from this 2.4 ohms? That 2.4 ohms here is what? All these resistors combined. And the combination of all these resistors to get what the 2.4. So for us to get the current for this resistor, we first of all have to get what? The current in the 2.4. And we know that its current is what? Source amperes. So let's ask ourselves. Which resistors do we, uh, do we combine to get what the 2.4? Just move back to your previous circuit. You realize we combine 4 and 6 in what connection? Parallel. If they are in parallel, it means the current in both of them is going to be equal to what? The current in the 2.4 because they are in parallel. So for us to get current for either of these resistors, we first have, or have to get the current in which we have to do at 6. So let's say I need the current for this one, let me call it I E. So for me to get I E, we are going to apply the concept called the current divider rule. So current divider rule says that when two or more resistors are in what's parallel and they are sharing a particular what's current, we can apply it to get the current for each of the resistors. So if I want to get current for the four, which is I E. What we do is, if I want IE, it is going to be the opposite resistor because the source and the four are sharing the current in this. So the opposite resistor, which is source, over sum of those two resistors, source plus four, times the current they are sharing, which is the current in this. And we know that it is what source amperes. That's the current divider. So source by source is giving us 30 source on source plus four, giving us 10, which is 3. Point source what amperes. So we know that the current flowing through the four is what three point six amperes. Someone can also find the current flowing through the source just by subtracting the three point source from the source because the sum of the current through these two will give us the source. So subtract this one from this and get the current for the source. But I'm not interested in this as well because I can see that this source comes here is the resistor here. But then where from this four? This four is the combination of these three resistors. Uh -huh. So if I need the current in this five, I have to focus on this four and leave this six. And let's ask ourselves again, okay, which resistor did we combine to get the four? Let's move back to your previous circuit. We combine 1.5 and 2.5 in what connection? Series. So if they are in series, it means the current through their equivalent is the same as the current through these two resistors. Because they are in series, they are not going to do the divider. So if the current is the same, it means current in the 1.5 is what? 3.6. Current in the 2.5 is also what? 3.6. Very simple. So now we've been able to get the current in the 1.5 and the 2.5. We can also see this 1.5 here is where? It's this one. Now this 2.5 is from where? It's from the combination of what? 5 and 5 in what connection? Parallel. So if they are in parallel, it means the current in this one has to be shared between these two resistors because they were in parallel. So we can use this one's current to do the divider rule, get the current for the 5. That is I0. So if I want I0, I0 is for the opposite resistor, that is this 5, over sum of those two resistors times the current they are sharing, which is current in the 2.5 and we know it is what references so this one is giving us 18 over 10 which is what 1.8 
amperes. So now we've deduced the current flowing through what the 5 ohms amperes, which is what 1.8 amperes. Using sorry, that's the 5 ohms. So yeah, its current is the 1.8 amperes. So that's the network reduction method used to calculate current for any of the resistors. Thank you very much for watching this video.